So I was in a seven year relationship with a very, very fine man, which is the problem. That's why I stayed longer than I should have. Um, but after we broke up, I realized I was 37 years old. I was single. I knew I always wanted to be a mother. And one of the things that really hit me is that I gave away my best baby making years to the wrong man, to the wrong relationship. I didn't realize that it wasn't just my effort or my loyalty, but that I was actually giving away my biology. And we don't often think of it that way. And so I prayed, honestly. And I heard God say, go freeze your eggs. And the next thing I knew, they told me that I was a good candidate for freezing my eggs. And I didn't pause. I didn't because one of the things that is true for me is that I know I could do life without being in a relationship, but I never wanted to imagine my life without the opportunity to be a mom. And it's expensive. So I basically was like, okay, well, how am I gonna do this right away? I don't wanna waste any more time. So, you know, those credit card, you know, advertisements that come into the mail every now and then that you throw in the trash. Well, I didn't throw the one in the trash that month. And I actually just signed up for a new credit card and I put my entire procedure on that card, all the medication, every bill that I had. And it was hefty, but at least I knew it was gonna be paid for and I would figure it out later. I knew, I realized that this was the first thing that I was doing for my future family. It was emotional for me because I haven't met them. And all I can do is hope about them and all I can do is imagine their faces. But this was something that I was actually doing out of love and wanting that family and wanting children so badly. And that's what pushed me forward is that, you know, you only live once and um, I didn't want to live the rest of my life and never see myself as a mom. And I got 32 eggs. And then I think about two days later, they call you and they let you know what eggs were viable and successfully frozen, and it was 29. So I have a kindergarten class. I spend thousands of dollars a year on baby showers, wedding showers, bachelorette parties and all that. I would throw myself an egg shower, personally, okay? Because I feel like as a woman that is doing it on her own, that's deciding that she wants to have a baby one day and she has to figure it out, you might as well go ahead and throw yourself an egg shower, register at PayPal, do whatever you gotta do. Because where there's a will, there's a way.